Good evening, Patricia. Good evening, Walter. Good evening, Selena. How are you? Good evening. Good and you. Good evening. Good, Good evening, evening, Sandra. Hey, Good evening. guys and girls, how are you doing? I'm <laughs> Just doing great. You. How was how was that weekend? <laughs> not so good. Ah, not not so good. Mm, not so bad because I I, I was uh, uh, I heard I heard in my my ear. I feel so Eric. I don't know how to say that. Eric, Eric, Eric. It's right. You you felt so so. You felt so Eric. What is what is that? I don't know. Eric. Eric. Oído. Mal, dolor de oído. Oh, you had an Eric? Yeah. Eric. Yeah, that is the word. Eric. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's that's uh did, did you did you check that? Did you did you have that checked? Uh, but today today uh um everything okay? I heard very well. You, you hear yeah. very well, you mean? I hear very well, yeah. You hear very well? All right, yeah, that's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. That is really, really awesome. Yeah. All right, and how are you doing with the platform, guys? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I tried to solve some exercise, but the new topic for today, I don't know, is so controversial for me. Because it's I kind of always controversial. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I always had some trouble, and I try to analyze, uh, analyze, 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 analyze the passive voice. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Okay. Yeah. No, that's that's okay. Right. Passive voice. It's it's fun, man. Yeah. I like these stuff. <laughs> I like. I, I like. I like advanced topics you know because this is one of those advanced <laughs> topics right they're fun man i really like teaching them you know yeah. i really really love teaching more complex topics because we're like sometimes you know like people uh, might not have like enough knowledge right to to explain correctly you know different like certain topics right and that's that's what i like okay so anyways guys good to see you back here um, I know some of you guys were sending um, questions about the platform, about some exercises. Before, I'll give you two minutes, guys, right now to um, to answer those questions from the platform, okay, while we wait for everybody else. So I know that, um, Rafa, you wanted me to help you with two questions, right? Right. Did you solve them, or do you still need me to show them no, here? I still need your help, please. All right, very good, yeah. Absolutely. I'll do it because you go to class every day, okay? But but yes, uh, sure, which one? I'm sorry. And by the way, guys, if I, if I don't answer, it's, it's, um, so that's my, my work cell phone, right? So usually, you know, I, when I see them, I forget, you know, like if I see messages, sometimes I forget because I get, you know, uh, other messages, right? So anyhow, um, which exercise from the platform do you need assistance with? Was oh, but the other thing, guys, is when you say, "Oh, I need I need help with uh, exercise number two, for example." I don't know if it is two from module one, module two, module three, right? <laughs> so, in my case, here I need help uh, in the section three. Point four. Okay. Oh, oh, but we, 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 we still haven't done this one. If you're talking about this one, we'll see them this week, right? Uh, Rafa, did you need help with section three or was it a different section? <laughs> no, it's uh, section three. Oh, section three. Don't don't worry, guys. Guys, three, we'll... 3.4. All right. We'll see these ones in, in the class, okay? Now that we're here, okay. let's solve them together. Okay, so 3.4. All right, so thousands, thousands of computers already have been infected. Infected. All right, are you being infected? 
Have, have been. Have been infected. Have been infected. All right, number two. Will be released. Will released. be released. Released. Released, okay. So yes. more freeware will be released. <laughs> Thousands of locks. I don't know that. <laughs> All right, just, all right. So thousands, thousands of blocks are being started. That's the answer. Recently, more hotspots have been set up. Been Nowadays, team chat rooms are being monitored. Okay, these days, podcasts, are being downloaded. All right, soon viruses will be created or are going to be created, okay? Uh, number eight will be used, okay? So these are, oh, number two, what's wrong with number two? Will be released. That's the answer that we got. All right, very good, guys. So there you go. Those are the answers, okay? Notice, guys, that uh, during the third week, we're going to go over, you know, section three, right? And we're going to go over the answers here. So, all right. So don't worry. So uh, we'll always go over the answers, okay? All right. So anyways, uh, now during the week, guys, we're going to see the answers for the other uh, the other exercises, right? So everything good so far, guys? <clears throat> yes. yes sir. Um, right. Pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Okay, so uh, Rafa, everything good? Yes, it's good. Thank you. All right, great. Well, thanks to you for asking, man. All right, so um, <clears throat> so anyways, guys, let's talk about a very interesting topic today. We're going to go over passive voice, okay? Why is it interesting, right? So if you if you would ever like to write something, guys, passive voice, guys, passive voice is not usually used in in real in conversations in in daily conversations. Okay, passive voice is used more in like writing or formal email, right? Or like TV ads, you know. That's what passive voice. That's where passive voice is usually used in, okay? So uh, today, guys, we'll, you will be introduced to passive voice using by, right? So what is passive voice? Who would like to help me read? Hey, I think for me. Oh. What? Not the other one. Rafael, do it. Rafael. Okay. The passive voice is a type of sentences construction in which the object of the sentences becomes the subject of the sentences. In other words, the thing or person that receives the action becomes the focus of the sentences rather than the thing or person that is performing the action. All right. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so I want you to notice something here. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, so I want you to notice something here, guys. So the object, right? The object of the sentence becomes the subject of the sentence, okay? That is passive voice, okay? So if you wanna remember this easily or easier, remember, Okay, oh, so passive voice means the object becomes the subject, okay? All right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that, the object is changed. Yeah, the, the order is changed, right? And why is that important? It's important because that changes the focus of the sentence, okay? That changes the focus of the sentence. All right? Mm -hmm. So I'm being, I'm, 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 Basically, I'm focusing on the, well, you know, whatever or whoever received the action and not whoever or whatever performed the action, okay? 
David, what does that mean? I'll show you. Hold your horses. Okay. <laughs> All right. So if you're confused right now, guys, that's okay. Right? That's okay. Let's let's all be confused, okay? But we'll learn, guys. I promise you, by the end of this class, you'll learn what passive voice is, okay? All right. <clears throat> Can I move on? Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look at these examples over here, right? So we have, for example, the dog chased the cat. The dog chased the cat, right? So now we know parts of speech. So where is the where is the subject here? The the, the, the what? The the dog. Very good, right? The fetal lice, right? The dog <laughs> is the subject of the sentence, right? Very good. Well done. All right. And then we have where is the where is the the, the object? The object. The cat. cat. The cat, right? Very good. Okay, so now what um in what tense is this? Present. Oh. All right, this is simple awesome. past, right? It's simple past. Okay. I want you to notice, guys. Okay, so I, I have placed I have placed the subject in blue, right? I have placed the subject in blue. And the the object has been placed in the and in green, right? Okay. So we have the subject and the object, okay? Object over here. And we have the subject over here, right? Very good. So far so good? Now, I want you to notice I want you to notice, guys, that yes. when we talk like this, this is how we talk in a real conversation, right? Let's talk that you're you are you know chambrating right with your <laughs> best friend right you're you're you know you're, you're just having a conversation right you're you're gossiping with your best friend right now if that if that's the case you would talk like this right you would place the subject first you know you would make emphasis on the uh, subject rather than the object of the sentence right now that is called guys when that happens right that is called active voice okay yeah. right active voice right so in grammar guys right being active or passive is is uh something innocent right in real life <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to find out <laughs> right very good so anyways all right so now that's called active voice right now, what happens, guys, if we want to change the emphasis on this? What would we do? I want you to take change. a look at the second. Well, yeah, it changes, right? So I want yes. you to take a look at the second sentence here, right? So it says, it says the cat was chased by the dog, right? Yes. So what's different here than in the first sentence? Dog is the object. Okay, repeat, guys, object 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 now everybody repeat it's not all oh, guys it's not O, oh, right it's no. ah object. Ob object 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 it's, it's, it's what's called guys a doctor sound okay you have to object. place your mouth like this guys okay like an o but say ah oh, right ah oh, okay. object okay that's how we pronounce it so anyhow so the that tense changes. I'm sorry, what? The tense change? change? No, not the tense. All right, the tense did not change. Oh. Okay. Passive voice. That's the difference. This is the difference, right? I want you, I want you to notice, guys, that what changed here was the placement of the subject and the object. Okay. So that is that is the difference here. Okay. So remember, guys, what we placed, what we placed in blue was the subject right notice mm -hmm. guys where the subject is now right the dog is here got it all yes right. we so need this... to use by all right yes exactly right so the subject guys became the object of the sentence now okay. now what happened to the object of the sentence and the first sentence 
in the, the active voice sentence? It became part of the what? It turned mm. it turned into what? Um the cat now is the subject and the dog is the subject. The subject and the other the object. All right, very good, right? This became all right now the object. Right, it's on the other side now. See, so here and here, right? That's the difference. So, so I'm saying the cat was chased by uh, was chased by by the dog, right? So now, if we say that, guys, if we say that yeah. now, now this is not the object. Is that the object? No, it's subject. Subject. Right? Now it changed position, right? It was the object before, but now it's the subject mm. of the sentence, right? And that is what we call passive voice. Okay. So we're making emphasis on the thing that we're talking or, or on the receiver of the action first rather than the doer of the action, right? So this is, you know, passive voice like that. Any questions, guys? Teacher, only change the, the change, but the, the name of object is always the cat the cat is always object object no no the cat in the the, the cat in this case is not it's subject? yeah it's the subject okay okay yes right now when i when i say you know oh we have if you see these right here guys this doesn't mean that this is actually the object right i'm just making a reference to the fact that what was the object over here Okay. Right? What well, was the object yes. over here became the subject over here. I just wanted I just wanted you to see the positions of each of them. Okay. Yes. But but in reality, guys, right? This right here it's is subject. not. Yeah, this right here, right? Is not. It's not the 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 object, right? This is the subject, mm -hmm. right? And this is the object. Okay. And okay. It's it's right. So you can you can uh, easily notice this, guys. If you think about it like this, okay, the object will never be at the beginning, okay? Mm -hmm. The object, okay. the object cannot be at the beginning of a sentence, right? It will be always is the, the in beginning. between, but yeah, but not it will be the receiver of the action, right? So okay. the cat was chased by the dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. And the verbs, the and verb. The the verb change was was changed. Yes, the the verb is changed, right? Oh yeah, yeah, and and the yeah, there is a difference here. The dog chased chased the cat, right? Versus yeah. the dog was chased with the cat. So we're adding the verb be here. That thank you very much for pointing that out. That is that is one hundred percent correct too. Okay, so you're gonna notice, guys, and this is gonna happen with every tense. Okay, that we're gonna be adding the the verb be, all right? So we're gonna be adding the verb be here, okay? So what is, what is, so why, why do we do this? Why do we need passive voice? Why guys, why is that important? You do, you do emphasize on the object when you speak. Okay, you make <laughs> emphasis on the object, right? Very good, so in this sentence, the focus has shifted from the dog to the cat. The cat is now the subject of the sentence and the dog has become the object, all right? So that's it. But why do we do that? Okay, maybe you wanna send an email, right? Maybe you wanna, you know, you wanna send an ad. Maybe you are a writer. Maybe you wanna write a poem, okay? So there- Okay, are, teacher. Tell me. There are, some, there are some rules about the tense when active to passive voice, right? Yes. About tense. Uh, I am, I suppose uh, when you structure uh, active voice and and past continuous and present perfect, change others another tense different when you translate to a passive voice, right? Change, it changes to a different tense. Yeah. I, I don't know. My question is uh before the topic i received about the rules about report speech 
It's the same rule about the time about the tenses. Oh, I, I understand now. No, it doesn't backshift. Yeah. No. It's so different. No, this, this is different. Yes. This ah, is okay, 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 okay. We're not we're not backshifting here. I know okay, what you're okay. asking me now. No, we're not backshifting. Okay. This okay, doesn't okay. have anything to do with that. Okay, the, the difference is in the passive void, you you can use the verb to be. And the yeah. past part is report yes. report is speech doesn't have anything this is not the same the, the same topic okay okay, 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 okay. Speech is sure. he said that he was going to the supermarket that, that okay. that's not that's not possible yes tell me in in the in the second one um sentences uh the bird chase is um it must to be in present or chase in past. I don't know. <laughs> all right. I, I think I think we, we still, uh, all right, hold that thought, okay? Because we're going to move into the rules in that moment, okay? I'm going to explain all of that to you, okay? But right now, just know, all right, right now from this slide, guys, from this slide, I want you to know that what, but what passive voice is, right? And it's basically changing, you know, uh, the, 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 the order yes. from the subject and the object, right? So it's like putting them in, in the different places, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what it is right now, okay? So let's move on, guys. So we have examples, right, of uh, the present continuous being used with passive voice, okay? So who'd like to help me read here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> who'd okay. like to help me read? Okay. The present continuous passive voice for from my formation and usage. The present continuous passive voice is a type of sentence construction that emphasizes an ongoing action that is currently taking place and being received by the object of the sentence. Very good. Repeat construction. Construction. Good job. Okay. Very good. Okay. So uh, let's see how we turn, you know, present continuous into passive voice. By the way, guys, what is present continuous? Quickly, give me a sentence in present continuous. Cheyenne, what? Is. 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 Being, being. <laughs> is what? Is eating pupusa right now. Okay, Chayani is sitting pupusas right now, right? Very good, right? So good job. So we have the verb be, right? And the present participle form of the verb, okay? So good job. So now, if we say, guys, the chef is cooking the dinner, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right? So let's talk about this sentence right here. So is this... Uh, this is this is what passive voice, right? Is it passive voice? The chef is cooking the dinner. No, it no. is not. Oh, no, it's continuous. No, it's active voice. Very no, good. The it's chef active is voice. Active. Yes, active. very good. <laughs> it's active voice, right? Okay. How can you identify that this is active and not passive? Uh the the, the name of the or the subject. Voice. You know who. Who is the 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 doors doors the doer of the action right the structure right we are not using by okay so what will determine guys okay an easy way to spot to spot passive voice right is like this I want you to focus on two things in the second example right hold on oh, what happened okay so I want you to focus on two things in the second example. Mm -hmm. Right. I want you to focus on this. Yes. Right. So the verb be. Okay. And being. <laughs> okay. Being guys. Being the verb be and being will always be used in the passive voice of present continuous. Okay. Mm -hmm. Always. Okay. okay. So now. The ver I said the verb, be, the verb be, guys, because we're using is here because it's a conjugation. What, what if I, what if I were not talking about 
the dinner. What if I were talking about watching? Oh, the, the what? This cook by the chef. You know, uh, let, let, let's say that we're talking about lunch. You know, lunch. the day being good. Right? I don't know. They like you know the apples. Okay, let's let's talk about the apples or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now the apples. Can I say the apples is being cooked by the chef? Yes. No. No. Right? Uh, so no, exactly. No. We need to say uh, are, right? Uh, the apples yes. are uh, being cooked by the chef. Uh, okay. So notice, notice, okay? So this, this guys right here, no, my favorite guys, I need you to mute yourselves if you're not participating right now. Please, thank you. Okay. Hold on. Because there's like background noise. Hold on. Very good. So guys, okay. So now I I want you to notice that. Hold on, guys. I don't know where that is coming from. All right. Very good. So I want you to notice, guys, that what we have here is the verb here. Okay. All right. You can conjugate it depending on the subject, the type of subject that we have, right? If it is third person, if it is first person, second person, right? Or if it is any plural form, right? And you know the conjugations, we're not gonna go over that, all right? And one thing to point out here is that being, all right? Being is always going to be part of this, okay? All right? So yeah, I know you have the verb be here and you have the verb be here too, right? Be, be. Right, but this is this is the uh, present participle form of the verb. Okay, present participle. Now we also have this right here, and what is that? It's a past participle. Exactly, guys. No, right. Present participle. No, it. it Cooked. Cooked is, not, cooked is not present. A present participle and C9 and G, guys. This is a present participle. This yeah. is not a present participle. The other is past participle. Past participle. Yeah, past this one right, this one right here is a past participle. That that's the one I was talking about. Yes. So this one, right? This one right here is the present participle. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna type it in, guys, because that looks awful. Okay. So all right, so. So this one right here, right? We're gonna call it the, the present, right? Participle. Okay. This one right here. And this one over here is the past participle, right? Cooked. Okay. And another thing that we're going to have here is the verb yeah, be, right? Conjugated in any form, All right? So, see, all right? And this is how we're standing right now. Be present participle and past participle together. Now, you can say the dinner is being cooked, right? Because you can say the chef is cooking the dinner, right? Now, it's optional, right? If you want to make emphasis on who or what is doing the action, then you can add, you need to add by, okay? You will need, you, you will need to add by and whoever or whatever is performing the action, okay? Notice, notice guys that I'm saying whatever too, right? Because it's not, I mean, in language, right? You can, you can make reference to not only a person, but to anything else, right? You can say, you know, the, the, the mouse is being chased by the cat. See, the cat is not, it's not, an, it's not a person, right? So, so you can hey, say that. Hey, right? Teacher, now, the meaning of both sentence is the same in this case? Yeah. Oh, it there is, are so it, different meaning. It is the same, but there is a difference. What is the difference, guys? The really position nice. of the object to be yes. to the subject. Well, yes. It's a passive voice. Yes. Well, yes. Th those are right answers, but that's not yeah. 
okay, why would we do this? Okay, remember, what is, what is the purpose of doing passive voice? So we know that the position, right? This is the subject, right? This is the object, right? And we're changing the positions, right? This one is coming here and this one is coming over here, right? We know that. And we know that this is active voice and this is passive voice. No, but what is, what is, what is the difference in the usage? The emphasis. The emphasis. All right, the emphasis, guys. Okay, not the emphasis, guys. Emphasis is the verb. The emphasis, which is the noun, right? So it is the emphasis. Now, the emphasis here is that the chef is cooking dinner, right? I'm, I'm making an emphasis on the chef. Now, now I'm making an emphasis on the dinner. Okay, and usually, guys, again, we are going to use this. We're going to use passive voice for what? I'm sorry, for what? Or, or writing, you know, it, right? right? Writing, right? Emails. I mean, writing in general, right? You can include emails here. Writing emails. Reports. Right. Reports. Exactly. Right. Like you're gonna see this a lot on 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 you know um in the news. A lot, right? In a normal conversation, that is use the. Uh, passive voice. Exactly, guys. Guys, I don't know if you if you recall Código 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 21, Código <laughs> Código 21, right? I don't know if you recall Código Código 21. <laughs> hey, I I speak I speak perfect Spanish, guys. It's just the <laughs> I'm used to the to the, to the D in, in English now. But but yes, Código 21, guys, has someone saying. Um, <laughs> <I'll regress out. laughs> yeah, they say that, right? But they, they would say something like, When we uh, come back, el, el gato, right? El gato fue atropellado por un bus, right? Something like that, right? Is it <laughs> so? So nobody Better. talks, right? Nobody really talks like that, right? They make emphasis on the object in the sense of what. So basically, you know, it, it's just. All right, the highlight or the, you can say the, the protagonist, right? The star of the action of the sentence becomes the object, okay? That is the, the point that we're making. All right, so do me a favor, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, you actually give me examples now and then you are gonna write down examples in your notebook, okay? So let's see, all right? So give me one example. I'm gonna give you the act, you know what? One of you give me the active voice and then the next person gives me the passive voice, okay? Sounds good? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So Walter, give me passive voice with, pre with present continuous. Present continuous. Active voice or passive voice? Active. Active. Um... I'm driving. I'm, I'm driving, okay. I'm driving right now. Okay, so I'm driving right now, okay? All right, so this is active voice. Good job. So Sandra, how would we yes. turn this into passive voice? I'm driving right now. <laughs> uh. I, my car is being driving by me. All right, hold on. There's something guys, okay. Good job, good job to both of you, but we're forgetting something very important here, guys. And this is a very good example. I, I really yes. like, hold on. I really like this example because it shows you something. What is it guys that we're missing here? The object. The object, okay. Well, it is. For passive voice, you need an object. If you don't have an object, mm -hmm. you cannot create passive voice, okay? So let's change, let's change that sentence, Walter, okay. and please okay. give me a sentence with an object. I driving a car. Driving, not driving, driving. Driving, driving a car. I'm driving my car right now. But we don't have an object, I need an object. Oh, I'm driving my car, you said, right? Yeah, my car. <laughs> my car right now, sorry. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, good job. 
So what would be the passive voice then, uh, uh, Sandra? Well, the passive voice, it could be over there that doesn't have a noun. Um, I'm driving my car oh, yeah. oh, right now, yes. My car is being driven by me. My, very good. My car is being, being driven, driven by, by me. me. Good job. Great job. Thank you. That's awesome. Okay, Jenny, uh, would you please give me an example with uh, inactive voice, please? I I am write, writing my grammar book. You know what? Let's 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 not say I guys. Okay, let's use different pronouns or talk about Cheyenne or Dualupe, you know? Talk about somebody else. Instead of I just say something else. That's Angelica. Angelica, okay. So Angelica is right writing. Is writing? Writing her book. Her, her book. All right. So Angelica is writing her book. Okay. Good job. Thank you. So Yancy, would you please give me the passive voice for this? Okay. The book mm -hmm. uh, is being. Or her book, right? Well, I'm sorry, the book. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Her the book. book. The, the book. book is being writing. Writing. Is writing. Being writing? No, writing. No. Writing. No, no, no. Uh, in passive pass participle, writing. 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 Written. Writing. Writing. Yeah. Writing. Written. Okay, written. Pass Very good. Okay, um, by Angelica. By Angelica, good job. Okay, see, easy peasy, right? Very good. Uh, Yesenia, number number three, give me active voice. Okay. Um, let me see. Carlitos. Uh -huh. It has to be in present progressive. Yes, it has to be present progressive. Okay. Yes. Carlitos is is um cleaning his room. Cleaning his room. All right, very good. Okay, and then let's have Patricia. What would be the passive voice here? Okay, the room is cleaned by Carlito. His room is, you say, clean, cleaned, cleaned, cleaned by, by Car Carlitos. All right, repeat pronunciation here, guys. Is cleaned. Repeat cleaned, cleaned, cleaned. 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 All right. So, is this correct? Or are we missing something here? B. It's B, right? B. It's B. All right. Cleaned it's, by it's Carlitos. It's been cleaned by Carlitos. All right. Very good. Number four. All right. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, number four. Walter. No, no, not Walter. Rafa. Rafael. And give me the active voice. And then Jenny will give me the passive version, okay? My son is playing PS4. With his PS4, all right? Or you can say on, uh, on his PS4, okay? By the way, pronunciation is not son, it's son. Repeat son. 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 It's a shot. Son. Uh, son. 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 Exactly. Son. It's actually the same pronunciation as the sun, guys. Like we have the sun that we have about, right? Son. The star. So, anyways, thank you very much. My son is playing on his PS4. Mm. All right, well, let's let's try to turn this into passive, okay? So Jenny, what do you think? Uh, PCS4 
is being played by my song, by her song, his song. PS4 is being played by his son. Would this, would this be correct, guys? Yeah. yeah. No, because this, uh, the subject is mine. The subject is by my, my, by my, my son. And this place is uh, say his son. My son. All right. Okay. That's, that's not, that's not, that's not the, the mistake here. What's wrong, guys, with this sentence? Uh, at the beginning, uh, I think that uh, it's not the article that, that, that PS4 is being played by my son or his son. Okay. The thing, guys, okay, that we're okay. All right. All right, the sentence, guys, is wrong, okay? Because, yes, you can be playing, you know, it's just you're thinking in Spanish, okay? You can say, my son is playing the FIFA, right? That would be, yeah, you're playing FIFA. You're not playing PS4. PS4 is the device you play with, okay? So the object was wrong there. So now we can turn this into an object. Right, and then would be that that would be what? Fifa. FIFA. Right. FIFA. FIFA. FIFA, right? FIFA. FIFA. Is, being, is being played, is being played, played by, by, my by, by my son. By my son. By. Okay, very good. By my son. Okay, very good. Good job. Right, that right. is way better now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? You gotta make sure, guys, that you actually have an object, okay? It has to be an object. And remember, guys, when we say object, we're not saying a physical object that like in real world. It can be that, I mean, that could be the case, right? But we're talking about a grammar <laughs> object, okay? Grammar uh, object. Teacher. Let's, tell me. By the way, this FIFA is being played by my son? By, by my son. Yes, by my son. Yes, I forgot the by, sorry. There you go. Thank you. You're paying attention. All right. So very good. So now let's 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 make this more complicated, guys. Okay. All right. You wanna uh, you wanna turn out the difficulty? Yes. Can we make this more complicated? All right. Let's let's have a more complex sentence. I want you to give me, guys. Um, can we can we have can we have a complex subject? How, how can we have a complex subject or, or object? What do you think? Teacher. Tell me. Uh, Vitamin. Okay. Go ahead. They, they are selling their old house. They're selling their old house? Yes. But, but that's, that's the same thing, right? Because we will say, you know, they are selling their old house would be how how can we turn this into a present progressive passive voice how can we how would we turn it into passive voice guys their old house all right uh, are being selling the old house is being, being sold. Sold. Is being oh. sold, sold by by them. By them. By them. Right, but, but this is not complex enough. Okay, I want something complex, really complex. All right, so let's let's do this, guys. Okay, I'm gonna give you one. How about saying, uh... "Hey, teacher, the thief is taking to the jail." Oh, hold on, hold on. Being part of this team is taking a toll on me. No, no, hold on. Being part of this team is um, cleaning my head. <laughs> I 
All right, so raise your hand, guys, if you want to turn that into passive voice. Can you turn that into passive voice? Main part of this team is doing my head. Where's the subject and where's my the head, object? My head is my being head, 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 head. By being by, part of this team. Being part of this team. This team. All right, very, good job, right? So now, hey, where's the subject? Team. This team. My, this team. team? Bang, bang, my head. My yeah. head? <laughs> no, my head yes. is object. Subject is being part of the team. Being part of the team. Very good, guys. Yeah. This clause, right? Yeah. yeah. This whole clause, right? Here, being part of this team oh, okay. is the subject, right? And where's the object? My head. My, my head. head. My head, my head. right? My Very head. good. So if you think about it like that, we're gonna put this here and this over here, right? So notice that even, right, a sentence that starts with a gerund can be turned into a pass, a, you know, passive voice, right? So how, what, what would be the right answer, guys? I need one volunteer only, one, one, please. Who would like to give me the right answer? <clears throat> My head. My head is is being being cleaned. Cleaned. Clean. Oh, it's the present. Uh, yeah, it's the past. Okay. All right. My head is being cleaned. By. 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 Being part of this team. Being or. Of being this part of the team. team, all right. My head is being cleaned by being part of this team. Good job, guys. Well done, guys. Well done. All right, did you like that example? Cool, huh? Sure. When when is the it's not necessary to use a by someone by by I'll go, I don't know how to say. Think about a real life example. Uh -huh. Why, what, what is the only reason you would like to mention? Why, uh, at the end of that sentence. No, the why, why mm -hmm. would you like to mention the name or, or why would you want to, to, um, to highlight, you know, whoever did the action? Mm -hmm. Why, why? You answer that. I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. So why would you like to highlight whoever did the action? Right? You want to expose. The emphasis, the emphasis, the emphasis. Right? You want to expose who did the action, right? Is it necessary? In some cases, right? But you could say, my car is being driven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in, this, in the case of my car is being driven, you have to mention by who? Because it's mm -hmm. because of the context, right? Yeah. All right. For that tip. You can say the book is being written. Okay. Mm -hmm. You could leave it there, right? So the 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 okay. So the only times, right? You can put it like this. Okay. The times where you're not gonna mention by Angelica is, for example, when people are looking or they already know, you know, who or what is performing the action. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. But it's just like in Spanish, man. You could say, hey, el, el libro está siendo escrito, right? You know, you don't know who is writing it. You don't care who is writing the book, right? You know that people are writing it in general, right? That is one way in which you would not be using by when you don't mm -hmm. care, all right? The answer is when you don't care who or what started the, you know, are doing the action, okay? Mm -hmm. Or who or okay. what is doing the action, sorry. All right, very good. Good question though, okay? Really good job. Any other question, guys? Are we good? The, teacher, teacher the, tell me, tell me. In the, in the platform, I one exercise, I can shoot, shoot, shut down my computer until all of my files. What, what exercise is that? Is that, Sex, sex, the is the fi final test in the B and the in the C 
section B is the number. The final test? Uh -huh. Section, oh, section four? Section four? We are not in section four yet. I mean, I'm going to go over the answers until. The, guys, I'm going. All right. So we're going over the answers from section one in the first, in the, in the first week, section two in the second week, section three in the third week, and section fourth and the exam in the fourth week. OK? Okay. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna get there, okay? Because otherwise we will not be advancing with the class, okay? Right, any question, guys, related to the topic? We're good. All right. Sure. Tell I me, have tell. I have heard some some examples uh, using have been. Uh, for example, um, all the homework have been made uh, by my son. Yes, we are going to go over, remember, we're seeing today's topic is present continuous and passive voice, right? Okay. All right, tomorrow we'll see uh, present perfect and passive voice, right? Okay. So we're gonna go over those topics. So yeah, you can, you can use passive voice with any tense whatsoever, okay? Yes. So yeah, you, you can do that, you can do that, all right? All right, so active or passive, guys? What is it? Uh, Guernica, I think, uh, was painted by Picasso. It's is is what? Passive, passive right? Passive. passive voice. Okay. The doctor passive. talked to him. Active voice. Active voice. Very good, right? So that is active, okay? Very good. The fire active was, active the fire was active. put on. Passive. 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 passive voice okay very good okay my parents gave me a present um, active active active, active right active. english is passive. spoken here passive. Passive. Passive, passive passive right very good good job all right good job you know how to identify that right uh the dog has been taken by the uh to the vet it's a passive, passive. The vet. Uh, right. passive voice. Passive. Somebody has Passive. stolen my bag. Passive. 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 Active. Active. Somebody has stolen. Active. Active voice. Okay, somebody. Active. Somebody back is out. All right, all right, all right. Active. 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 All right, guys, guys, guys. All right, hold, hold it. Okay, hold that thought. Okay. Active. Let's Back analyze. Okay. okay, let's let's analyze this. Okay, all right. Has all right. This is active. Guys, okay. Yes, it might be active. It might be passive. Let's analyze it. Okay. Yes. Very good. <laughs> guys, relax. <laughs> <laughs> we are direct. Okay. <laughs> all right. Very good. So, anyways, okay. So, guys, what tense is this? What tense is this? Present perfect. Present perfect. perfect. All right. Perfect. This is present. This is present perfect, okay? All right, so it's present perfect, all right? So we have the subject, we have the auxiliary, and we have the past participle, right? Right? So we have the auxiliary, we have the past participle, okay? And then here we have the object of the subject. Okay? So now, guys, if I had said my bag, right, has been stolen by somebody, Right, so then, that, then that would it's be active. passive. Okay, okay. So therefore this active. is active, yes. all right? Mm -hmm. Because the emphasis is on the doer of the action of the object, okay? yes. The car has been repaired. What about this? Active. It's active. active. Active? Yes. It's passive boy. It's passive boy. Passive boy. Passive boy. Yeah. Passive. Yeah. Active. Passive. It's passive. Passive. It's passive. 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 <laughs> But uh, why, why, why? Okay, somebody yeah. please because, explain why. Because it doesn't oh, have a, a subject or an object. Right, it does have a subject, right? <laughs> <laughs> but put no, it like this. Okay, the guys. Action, the present participle. The, the verb to be. Being this, is very con this is very con controversial. All right, so listen, guys. Okay, so we have the car. The car, right? The car has been replaced, okay? Replaced. Right, so Replay. Replay. Uh, it doesn't matter, guys, okay? Let's okay. say replaced, okay? All right. The car has been replaced, okay? That's 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 my sentence, okay? 
so now notice something guys okay uh okay we could say that this is that this is active uh, right because this would be what tense subject yeah. it's uh present, present, perfect, present perfect present no I'm not continuous. Present perfect. but guys but present, guys present, hey Excellent. Okay. All right. So we have, okay. So this right. is right. We have the auxiliary here. We have the verb be here and we have past participle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Of course you can say the car, you know, the car has uh, come to my house right now. But the fact guys that we have the verb be Being. and a, pa um, and, and a past That's participle it. verb here after the verb be. Okay. Tells us, okay, okay, there is something, right? We have the verb be plus past participle. All right, that's unusual, right? And we're talking about the car. We could easily, guys, say the car has been replaced by uh, Toyota. Okay. Okay. All right, the car has been replaced by Toyota. You could say that easily, mm -hmm. right? But check this yes. out. What if I say, guys, what if the car has crashed? Now, is this passive voice? No. 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 Okay. No. And how else? How else can you identify that this is not passive voice? Check this be? out. Listen. Hey. Hold on. Aside from that, I say, yes, you're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Aside from this, the fact that can we say this? The car has crashed by by me. Can I can I say this? No. No. Well, has crashed by my brother you cannot this is not passwords right no no because you would need to say the car right been, has been crashed by my brother by right? but, but if that that is that doesn't sound good okay but yes guys okay you would need to add the verb be there okay so therefore guys if we go back to the example that we were talking about before the car has been repaired is it passive or, or active it's passive this is passive okay Possible, yes. Right. We're good. Uh, we said this is active. Dog has been taken to the vet. Okay, passive. very good. Some people were laughing. Passive or active? Active. Active. active, active. Right? Active. I can't see the last one, so we're not going to do the last one, okay? I can't read. I very good, see. guys. Very good. So, mm -hmm. anyways, right? So, that's, uh, that's, that's basically it, guys, okay? Do we have any questions? No. So far, so good. So far, so good? Yes. All right, guys. So remember, guys, that we're going to be going over the platform, right, with its specific week, right? So week three, right? We're going to do um, week three, guys. We're going to do section three, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you with the exercises, okay, during yeah. their assigned week okay but thank you guys you keep on working Mr. On when when we finish when we did when we finish this course when will we finish the, it after the after the the vacation yeah so so we're gonna have this class this week until this thursday right and then holy week will be off so we're gonna have okay. you know a small vacation yeah Okay. All right, and then we're gonna resume classes on the on the tenth, and we're and we're gonna finish on the thirteenth of of uh, April. Okay. One day before my birthday. So mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, oh. All right, very good. Congratulations in advance. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Send send the send the cake. That's what I want. Right? Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.